hey hey it's Simi Loli here and in this video I'm going to show you option trading and it's going to be option trading live part two so this the first part um, if you scroll through my playlist you will um, if you haven't gone through the first part I strongly recommend that you go through that but I'm keeping it pretty basic and it's for those of you who want to know what it is I'm here to demystify option trading. So the platform we're using is called Think or Swim. It's this one right here, Think or Swim. You download it onto your computer from the website, TD Ameritrade. I will leave that in the description box below for those of you interested. The interesting thing about it, I'll click on it whilst I'm talking. The interesting thing about it is you can actually trade paper money. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do live. Okay, I pulled it up this time. We're going to um, we're going to trade with paper money, but we're going to use live data. We're going to use the raw data as the markets are still open. It's still we have another at least two hours or so before the market closes, and that's what I'm going to do it takes a little while as you can see here it says installing updates because I guess basically because it's downloaded onto your computer it takes a while to make sure that ensure all the files the appropriate files are updated now here this button here you click it you get uh, the green which says live trading you click it again paper money we want to stay on paper money put in your username and password and then we need to wait again now it does take a minute or two to download all the appropriate files necessary and we are in Okay, up here it says simulated trading. It says we're connected here to the data. So the same as everybody on Wall Street uh, in the United States here, we are connected to the same data. Um, of course, we're trading paper money. So this basically is telling me the amount of money I have available to trade. So it's $200,000. And of course, you can change this, make it more realistic. To what you'll actually be trading on the day okay so up at the top here we're really only interested for now with this tab monitor and this one here trade and this one education is for a completely different video because in this one it's going to help you it's going to show you videos um, tutorials etc on how to navigate the Think or Swim platform. So of course my video is just making it quick and easy for you, but really you want to, if you're really serious about trading options, then you want to really spend your time here under the education tab. But like I said, that's for another video. So if you come over to monitor, well, there's nothing to monitor right now. So if you go over to trade. Okay, so this is the interesting part. Let me close this. Okay. so. We clicked on trade and we're going to click on, not Tesla, I'm going to click on, I'm going to type in Netflix. Okay, so today is the 22nd of August 2018 and today is Wednesday. These are weekly options weekly options expire on friday so every friday weekly options expire today is wednesday so any option i purchase with an expiration date of the 24th simply means i can only hold it for two days well three days counting today and at the end of it if i haven't sold them then 
Remember the definition of an, of, a, of an option is it gives you the right to purchase options. Uh, I'll say that again. The definition of, a, of an option is that it gives you the right to purchase shares, but not the obligation. So you're not obliged to buy the shares. So if you don't want to purchase the shares, then you sell before the end of Friday. But we're only here to make money off the actual option. So we want to buy the option, then we want to sell the option before expiration date. So we'll click on this 24. And when we click on the 24, in here it gives us the various prices of options. It's only showing us four different prices because that's all we have in this window. So if you want to show a few more say 12 okay so it's showing us 12 prices uh if you look at the tab at the top here it says last so this is the last price at which someone actually purchased or you know someone out there purchased uh netflix options that expire on the 24th of august this number here in parentheses actually tells you how many days are left to expiration up here the underline is the the actual stock the actual company that we're looking at and this is the actual price netflix is trading at today 343 dollars and 75 cents these prices now we're only going to we're going to focus on this left side because these are called calls on this left side these are called puts as it's written here you want to purchase a call when you know the stock is heading up. When you know the price, this price is going to increase. You're going to purchase a put when you definitely know that it's a bear market and the price is going down. With puts, you make money when the price is going down. With calls, you make money when the price is going up. Here, there's this little green ticker symbol here that says, I'm actually holding positions. I purchased, I'll, I'll show you quickly. I'll click on it. So, I purchased, I think earlier today or some days ago, maybe Monday, today is Wednesday. So, I purchased, change cell, let me just show the buy. Okay. Here is showing you that I purchased 10 Netflix options to expire on the 24th of August. I bought them at a strike price of 335 and I bought a call. And here it says, right now, the price is almost $11. So I bought one option for $335. And that one option is now worth $1,055. That would be a nice little profit if I had used real money, but I didn't. Okay, what else can I say about this? So what, it, what, what this 335 strike price is, is simply at the time I purchased it, the price of Netflix was below 335 i believe it was something like 315 or 310 dollars so i selected an option with a strike price of 335 because i believe that netflix was going to go the price of netflix was going to go up within that expiration period it did go up it went up from 310 about 310 that i purchased it at it's gone up um, where are we? It's gone up to $343 from $310. So at the time I purchased it right here, the market price was not 10.83. The market price was, I want to see if it shows it. Um, uh, well, it tells me here it has gained $4. So that's only today. So the market price was probably closer to about $300. So I bought one option for 
And today, three days later, my $300 investment has increased to right here, $1,083. That's how you make money trading options. But I'm actually going to buy an option right now. Let's go, let's close this order entry here. These are the strike prices. These are the prices that you are going to believe that the price of Netflix can increase to. The ones shaded have, the price has already been attained. The price of so these guys who purchased here, the price wasn't three, the price at the time they purchased was not 342.50. This line here, when they purchased it, it wasn't 340. Uh, and so on and so forth. So at the time these guys purchased these options in the shaded area, the price of Netflix had not yet gotten to this point, hadn't gotten to any of these strike prices, but they believed that it would get to the strike price. So right now, if they hadn't sold their options, their options would be what is called in the money. In the money simply is a term used when the price, the current price of the option you purchased has increased to, has basically increased. Um, so basically this guy here at 342, when he purchased this option, it wasn't $342, it was say $300. But now he's in the shaded area because the price of the underlying that Netflix has actually exceeded what he predicted it would go up to. So this guy predicted it would go up to 342 and it has exceeded 342. So his option is now in the money. It's now worth $518. He may have purchased it at $100, $100 I don't know, less than 100 whatever it was. Um, okay these ones that are not shaded and not yet in the money as you can see 345 so if you believe that this price of netflix at 343 is going to increase to 345 within the next two days then go ahead and purchase this option but it's the most expensive of the options that are not yet in the money. So here is 3.85 per share. So remember one option is equivalent to 100 shares. So this is actually going to cost $385. Now if you don't want to spend that much or you're not sure that the price, the strike price, that the, the you're not sure that um, price of Netflix will get up to 345 this week, then you probably don't want to go for this one. So let's go, okay, now if you look further down this chain, this is called an option chain, okay, I did something and I need to pull it back up. Okay. The further out the money you go, the cheaper the option. The further out of the money you go, the cheaper the option, from $385 to $100. And if we increase the number of strike prices, we can see it even goes cheaper. So here we can purchase an option for $69, and here we can purchase this option for $49. Now, if we go to the $49 option, we are saying, so we're further out of the money we're saying, oh, Netflix can go up to $360 in two days, even though it's trading at $344. Mm, it could happen. Chances of it happen happening is kind of maybe slim, but it doesn't mean you still can't make money off of it if the price of Netflix, Netflix is moving upward. So what happens is you make money off the the off the um, the fact that the price of the 
underlining, which in this case is Netflix, is moving up. And here, on the put side, you're making money because you're betting, I don't like the word betting, but you are figuring out that the price of this underlining, Netflix, will go lower. You actually make money on these puts when you know or you, you guess that the price of Netflix is going lower. Now, if you look at what's just happened, because the price, see, this price, 344.41, it is changing. So, this wasn't in the money right now. Can you see it's moved into the shaded area? Because the price of Netflix is greater than this 342. It's already in the money. Okay, so this one that's out of the money, of course, the further out of the money, the cheaper it gets. But the closer in the money you, you are, is, is the greater the likelihood that your, your option will be, will be in the money. And when it's in the money, you actually make more money. Your options actually increase. I won't say exponentially, but they definitely increase faster at a greater rate than these options you purchase that aren't in the money. So... If you want to purchase this option that's in the money because you feel the you can see the rate of change. Okay, this just says that under this tab here, net change, you can see that the price of this option has increased just today four dollars and sixty-six cents. So this option has increased four hundred and sixty-six cents today. This one down here has increased $37 because it's further out the money. Okay, let's just go ahead and purchase an option. So we have this $420 one at a strike price of $345. So there is a great likelihood that this $345 will be attained even before the end of today. We're not sure, but let's purchase it. And we're going to purchase it at four hundred and twenty dollars it's just gone down to four dollars that happens because price of stocks go up and down they oscillate up and down so good for us because we're going to purchase it cheaper you're going to right click on that click buy move along and go all the way to the top we're buying a single okay so once we click on it it gives us this order order entry. I'll do that again. M is the one we want to buy, the $4 one. Buy, single, and it pops up with an order entry. So it's telling us we're buying, we're buying, we're buying 10, which we probably don't want to buy 10. Even though it is paid some money, we just want to try this out. So this is what is more affordable. We gotta make sure we buy Netflix. Yes, it expires the 24th of August in two days. If you want to purchase it further out, you can get, you can click right here and you get to purchase um, options that are expiring way later than this. But we're sticking with the 24th of August for now. Make sure you're buying a call and not a put. This is the price, and the price is going up. So we're going to click market. We just want it to buy this thing at market price. We're going to click on confirm and send. It's going to show us this. Make sure this is exactly what you want to do. Your maximum profit is infinite. You can go on and on and on. The most you can lose is what you put in. So that's the beauty of options. You can only lose what you put in, which is $419. Um, you can't lose more than that. Now, once you've clicked send, it's going to tell us it's bought it, it's filled it, so our option has been purchased. Now, after that, we're going to click on this for now. We're going to go to monitor, and let's go keep an eye on what we just purchased. Um, 
um, and here it is, you know, click, next click. Now we're going to ignore the ones I bought earlier today, which is that one at the top, and, and this little sign here, ITM simply says, it is now in the money, so I bought that at $375. Per option, I purchased three, and now it has tripled. It has literally tripled to ten dollars and ninety cents an option. And you can see that that price is changing. Okay, so this is the one we've just purchased. The one just underneath, we purchased uh, one option, which is the equivalent of a hundred, a hundred shares. We have not purchased the shares, but we simply purchased the right to purchase the shares. It expires in two days. We bought it, the trade price we bought it at was $4.35, so that equates to $4.35. Right now, the market price is $420, so it has actually, let's see, the parenthesis here says right now we're trading at a loss because it has included the commission. So it'll take a while. If you're sure that this stock is going up, which is why you would be buying a call, then this figure here should slowly change over time. It could change rapidly. It could change slowly. So we're just going to keep an eye on it. This market change here is simply the figure is changed uh, since the start of the day, since the start of the, since the market opened basically. It's increased two dollars. Now as you can see, the option that was bought closer to the money increases by a greater amount. So it's more expensive to buy the options that are closer to the money. But the rate at which it increases is faster than the cheaper options where it's more affordable to buy the one that's further out of the money. And look at the rate at which it increased. Literally half the rate. So right now that baby is going down. So we can tell by the parentheses that the price of that stock is oscillating, it goes up, it goes down, it goes up for more and down for more, and you pretty much figuring that it will increase, which is the reason why you bought a call. Now what I'm going to do is, at the same time, I'm going to purchase a put. So if we go back to trade, and we go over to this side, so what the put is saying, right now the price of the underlying is $344. The put is saying that you are, again, I don't like to use the word betting, but you have figured out that this price is going, the cost of um, Netflix is going to go down to $340 in the next two days. So you're going to buy this put because you want to make money on the downside. So we're going to right click buy single and you're going to buy not 10 but one put make sure it's exactly what you want netflix expires in two days you bought the 340 strike and it's a put we're clicking this and changing this to market confirm and send go over this the maximum profit you can make look at this you can make thirty three thousand dollars if this your one option keeps on plummeting and goes down to zero. But the most you can lose is what you've put in. The most you can make is, of course, if Netflix, the price of Netflix goes down to $10, you could make up to this amount. So we're going to click send. Okay, so we've bought one put and one one put and one call of Netflix. Now let's go back to monitor the positions. 
let's look at what's going on. So we're gonna keep it on for a while. Here we have the put right above. We bought it at $253. And we're hoping this will go lower than $253. Right now it's gone down to $251. The call, on the other hand, we're hoping that before the two days it, in which it will expire, something like that, you bought it at 435, you're hoping it will go up. So let's just watch these two. So what you want to look at is here, your profit and loss on the day, how much you're making today. Let it run again. Okay, so I let the video run for about seven minutes and let's see what we we have here. With the put, where we were predicting the price would go down, it didn't go down, that's why it's trading at a loss, it went up. With the call, the 345 call, we predicted the price would go up and it has gone up so right now. We've earned two dollars and sixty-eight cents. Right before our very eyes, that's turned into forty-four dollars and down to seventy-five. Up eighty-one cents. Up to four dollars and twenty-five cents. So basically, this is how the money is made. Knowing when to get into a, a trade and when to sell is the key. I think is the key strategy to making money with options. Stock prices go up and down. You want to know, and also when they go up, you know, you could have a stock go up over a period of days, and you could have another stock just go up for 15 minutes. You need to be able to predict from your studying of the charts when it's going to be a 15 minute run or when it's going to be a three day run. That's what makes the difference between the options trader who makes money and the one who doesn't make money, the, the, en the, the entries and the exits. You've got to know when to jump off the roller coaster. You've got to know when to jump on the roller coaster. Hopefully, I'll deal with this a particular topic more in another video. But for now, I hope I've been able to show you how to make money with options. If um, you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below. Um, I'll leave some links in the description box for those of you who want to begin to, you know, start trying out options trading. And don't forget to subscribe and I will meet you on the next video.